In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And we come together to celebrate this Mass today. We say Mass, especially today, for Billy Wiles, a parishioner of this parish whose funeral takes place later this morning. We pray for her soul and for all those who mourn her loss. And also, this being a Tuesday, uh, this is the day in which we allocate, so we, we remember especially... At the Thanksgivings, it's the beginning of the week, um, we remember the reasons why we are thankful to God for the prayers which he answers and also for the many blessings he brings to us. So we begin by calling to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, Look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Now we have our readings from Scripture. As always, they're pre-recorded by members of our parish here. First reading is, as you'll see, from the Acts of the Apostles. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium. 
and turned the people against the apostles. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the town, thinking he was dead. The disciples came crowding round him, but as they did so, he stood up and went back to the town. The next day, he and Barnabas went off to Derbe. Having preached the good news in that town and made a considerable number of disciples, they went back through Lystra and Iconium to Antioch. They put fresh hearts into the disciples, encouraging them to persevere in the faith. We all have to experience many hardships, they said, before we enter the kingdom of God. In each of these churches they appointed elders, and with prayer and fasting they commended them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. They passed through Poseidia and reached Pamphylia. Then, after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia, and from there sailed from Antioch, where they had originally been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On their arrival, they assembled the church and gave an account of all that God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the pagans. They stayed there with the disciples for some time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. Your, your friends, friends, O Lord, Lord shall, shall make known, known the glorious splendour of your reign. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendour of your reign. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name for ever, for ages unending. Your friends, O Lord, shall make known the glorious splendour of your reign. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I bequeath to you, my own peace I give you. Peace the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me say I am going away and shall return. If you loved me, you would have been glad to know that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you this now before it happens so that when it does happen, you may believe. I shall not talk with you any longer, because the prince of this world is on his way. He has no power over me, but the world must be brought to know that I love the Father, and that I am doing exactly what the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Every day I write a short uh, reflection on the gospel, which is in the notes which go out on WhatsApp to those who receive that from us. 
And uh, somebody said to me, you know, why don't we, why don't you do a short homily, Father? They didn't say, don't do it, why don't you do a long homily? Why don't you do a short homily, Father? And I thought, well, if we could use those in this way, because they are brief, but also ho- hopefully help us to reflect on the gospel that we've just heard. Jesus says to us in the gospel, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. There is a peace which the world can give and should give, an end to violence and conflict, an end to exploitation, an end to poverty, selfishness and suffering. Human beings can cause so much suffering and they can put these aside for a kind of peace. But an end to war is not the same as harmony. An end to hatred is not the same as love. An end to poverty is not the same as justice and respect and dignity. Rules, guidance, laws, these all have their place. They can make a difference. But they're never more than a beginning. True peace comes from the heart, from the spirit, from the soul. This is the peace which the world cannot give. This peace we can't make for ourselves. It's a pure gift from God that we are called to share. Our prayer focus today is uh, the uh, is the thanksgivings, uh, and we'll uh, we'll do those in a second. But we've also had some requests for prayer as well, so I'll uh, share these with you. Um, we'll, uh, well, these have come in the past, uh, in fact, some in the past few minutes. So we're asked to pray particularly for residents and staff in prisons and detention centres. In those places, lockdown can mean all but 20 minutes every day out of the cell. We pray for a, a, a boy called uh, Rico, Rico. He's in Birmingham Children's Hospital in an induced coma, suffering from the COVID virus grandson of a a friend of a parishioner and his grandmother has particularly asked for prayers we pray for john who's in hospital following a fall when he broke his hip for frank the brother brother of a parishioner who's recovering from a cancer operation and awaiting chemotherapy we pray for all those who've passed from this life for catherine manelli who died this morning she's the sister of a parishioner here at uh, st mary's at cannock also for Bill Killian, who died recently, Josh Fielding, Billy Wiles, whose funeral is today and for whom this Mass is offered, for Tony Goff, the neighbour of a parishioner who died very suddenly last week, for Joe Breed, and also for Sheila Bloor, and for all those who've passed from this life. We make also our thanksgivings, and of course there are many, and uh, we must never neglect to do that remember the things the wonderful things that God's given us we give thanks especially today for Ian who's come out of intensive care at Walsall Manor Hospital for Peter who's come home from hospital he's got to return later for an operation so do keep praying for him but he's out of hospital temporarily at least for Mark a paramedic who's been quite poorly for some time he was taken into hospital uh, with the virus I think and he's now uh, come out and he's back at home and he's making progress so we pray, continue to pray for him. Trevor Green, who's had uh, trials over the years, and it's his birthday today, so we give thanks for that. And uh, we also make the, uh, the thanksgivings which have been made uh, over the past few weeks, which are also important. Uh, Don, Bill, Les and Mabel, who've been in hospital, are now back at home for um, someone successful in getting a teaching job for September. For the birth of a son to uh, our Prime Minister and his fiancée. For Doreen, who's progressing well. A grandson for Monica. For uh, uh, Colonel Tom Moore. For Mick's return to health. Trevor's progress in improving health, we mentioned him. Gerard, who uh, had uh, great help when he was uh, had a heart attack. And um, also Diamond Wedding, uh, wedding Anniversaries, Phil and Claire, Paul and Anne, Pat and John. Birthdays, Deacon Paul, Sister Jacinta, Jane, Pat, Rebecca, Emily, Winifred, and others, no doubt. Trevor, of course. And also a thanksgiving in general for our broadcast masses, for those who've been able to connect with our community once again, uh, and those who live very far away. And we give thanks for all of you who are uh, watching today. I know there's people in Chester 
and Chesterfield, uh, people in North Wales and people in uh, the south of England, uh, Tenerife, Goa, Australia. We mentioned these again as if they're just round the corner. In a sense, they are. And, uh, and many, many others as well, I know. And, uh, you know, do let us know, and I'll try to remember to mention all the, our, our, our widespread congregation and uh, distance parishioners who are very, very welcome here at our Masses. We bring them all, all our thanksgivings, all our prayers, all our petitions to Almighty God and the intercession of our Blessed Lady. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. On your stay, quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all is peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all is peccata mundi. Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, meet of lasting life. The communion antiphon, come to me all who labour and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Well, I can see we've got a signal and uh, something's being broadcast. I'm not sure what the quality is at your end. 21 of you have managed to reconnect. Well, that's very, very good of you. I now invite you to share, make your own act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Holy Sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for those who've been all the way through. Uh, great sadness that we, we lost some uh, just towards the end, particularly because we're moving on now to our uh, recitation of uh, a decade of the rosary. 
23 of you have returned. And that's not too bad, actually. That's very good. The signal doesn't look to me particularly brilliant, um, and I'm sorry about that. That's, that's to be expected because the strong, very strong signal, the good, uh, the, the good transmission has, was lost when it, we got cut off. I'm using too much data. That will be corrected, but it might cause problems, um, uh, well, in the week, but not for next Sunday. So um, we ask God's blessing on us. We ask him to send us on our way. And uh, as after the blessing, we'll have the uh, rosary, the, uh, the nativity of our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so now we turn to the third of the joyful mysteries, the nativity of our Lord. Uh, we think of his birth, his, the word becoming flesh, his joining amongst us. We have uh, the, the Hail Marys are said by members of the congregation have recorded them in advance. They're the same ones I used on Sunday, so if you're watching and are hoping you'll, uh, you'll hear your voice because you didn't on Sunday, well, it won't be on today. It's the same as the Sunday ones, but that will be changed during the week. Words from the Gospel according to St. Luke. And all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee to Bethlehem to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners us now, now, and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now, now and at the, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, Pray for, for sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Father's prayer to Our Lady. 
O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. Protect us of the Roman people, you know our needs, and we know that you will provide, so that, as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took, himself, he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Let's <laughs> 